On today's ride, we got very wet. We rode on dirt. We warmed up the cabin. He's a new boost, man. We went ripping on a Polaris boost. We go over a very important skill for steep tree riding. We get really stuck, really wet. So wet. And we warm up at the cabin. It's raining out there still. Let's see what's on the menu today. It's raining a little bit. Hey, welcome to the channel. This might be our last ride. As you can see, it's raining. It's not too bad, but we're getting soaked. We're gonna go into the cabin, light a fire. Elk Ridge Snowmobile Association cabin. It's not a lot of like, roof lines either. It's, they kind of lose it when you play okay. There's quite a few, there's a few of them around. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Yeah, so heavy. You misplaced one, buddy. At least it's snowing somewhat now. Oh, my forearms are soaked. Oh, really? What do you think, Daryl? What do uh, I think? Yeah, what do you think of this day? A little moist. A little moist today. You think you're recording and then you're not. There she goes. Huh. Oh, I sunk. It is nasty out. Are these skids? <laughs> Got to clean out your tunnel bag. Time to cook some lunch. to ride that boost for a bit should ask him if we could take it for a pull on the main slide i'm scared too oh it's nothing man it this has more power on the bottom seriously and that takes off a bit at top we can work our way through the trees which might be a little sketch it just gets a little quick through here you know what i mean no i know it's long <laughs> how's it going just can't see nothing oh yeah between the fog and the fog yeah trees is a little better but just gone wet now i'm kind of sweaty <laughs> one of my favorite zones in here mainly because every time i come in here there's fresh snow and almost no tracks yeah yeah uh there's just a bunch of drainages yeah we can work our way down here it just gets a little steep not bad i bother but i know the, i know the way okay <laughs>
a little stuck here. Had to flip it over. Currently raining pretty hard here. So my best. Hey Daryl, you all right? Yeah, same here. Just drenched. This is what I came up. Got some air here, hit something hard. Right there, that's rock hard there. This side was soft. And then, yeah, fell off. Find my exit here. Go this way a bit. You're looking pretty dry, wet on the outside. I'm gonna pause the video for a second here and go over a really important skill to practice if you're wanting to challenge yourself with some tree riding and steep technical terrain. It's hard to tell from the video, but this is moderately steep. We had just come down through a much steeper section and Trent here was getting out of his comfort zone. The snow was firm and fast and the fall line in this section was straight to the trees down below. He likely could have rode it out with both skis on the snow, but this requires a lot of effort and he might have done some damage to the sled if he were to accidentally let go of it and have it coast downhill. He's not a new rider, but since I brought him into this area, I was willing to ride it out for him and go over the following technique. I would do one ski like a side hill here and get over to my track. It's all good. I, I took you in here. It's fair. No worries. All good, Trent. So you could, in oh, you got your throttle on backwards. <laughs> got the finger throttle. This is, once you get it like this. <laughs> Right, because you could just walk it now, right? But. So what you need to do is get the sled on edge, and you do this by counter steering. You turn the skis downhill while leaning into the slope. Sometimes a little blip of the throttle will make this easier and help set the track into a nice side hill. Once the sled is leaning into the slope, I'm able to let go of the sled as it's balanced and it requires very little energy to maneuver. I have a plan of where I want to go and that's between the trees in front of us. Keeping the sled on edge is important. If it tips back downhill, you need to be on the brakes and then start over and get it back on edge. It's steep and nasty in here. And uh be a little intimidating. Bit of a workout. You made that look so freaking easy. I know. I seriously have been riding in here for 20 years already. But yeah, like look how hard packed this is. You can just walk right up it. You can see there's a fair bit of snow in here. Big log there. down and ride out now. Thanks, man. Oh, no problem.
I didn't know you were right here. Yeah, I said the last place you saw me. Oh. I wanted to kind of follow you up, and I tried to get up around the corner and I stopped. Yeah. I'm like, okay, so it sunk a little bit, so I'm like, okay, I'll just back up, it'll be fine. No. It sunk. Got it going. Sunk. Got it going. Sunk. <laughs> I had a pretty good stuff, too. Not like this, though. No. No, this is a. This has kind of been like over 15 feet where it's just been the reverse trench. Can we go for it, do you think? Uh, I don't know, maybe. We're gonna go ride the boost after this. I was talking to Trent, he's like, dig it. Okay. Nice. The snow is kind of, it's not bad right now. It's just too bad we're already soaked. Oh yeah. One, two. Yeah. yeah. Hang on. Knock about 80 pounds off. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go eat some pizza. <laughs> uh, he was stuck. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it's just when you get in there, it's just cement. Yeah, I wouldn't mind taking it for a quick pull. Yeah, cool, right? No, I got a... Oh, no, that's perfect. perfect. For standing, right? I, yeah, yeah. I like it. Finger throttle. Boosty. is your chaos eh? No it's uh very planted yeah. but I was worried that I was pinching the th my other finger with the throttle and I couldn't get full throttle but even with my hand there you're getting like 8660 <laughs> rpm <laughs> it's freaking yeah. nuts it's awesome for like acceleration but like you top out within like 50 feet it's pretty awesome man you should try it go ahead man you want to rip then I then I tried moving my hand over and then going right to the bar yeah and I didn't notice any difference okay so this is throttle yeah <laughs> How do you work this? I just want to make sure I'm... We've got D-Tab on the boost! He's the new boost man! like move around and I'll hit it with like my thumb sometimes if I'm depending where I'm at I'll use like the palm, palm of my hand to hit the throttle. Yeah. Yeah. I uh I don't know about the finger throttle. I, I, I'm not used to it. I got arm pump right away <laughs> and then I'm like okay I'm done done before I fall off of this thing. Yeah don't, don't crash the thing down while it's flat. No. <laughs> Daryl's new girlfriend. Well, we're back at the cabin. It is still raining out there. Trying to dry off our stuff. See what's on the menu today. Ooh. It's hot. Some cooker pizza. 
Ooh, that is too hot to eat. Is that from, where's that from? That oh. is from the freezer. Oh. Do you like freezer pizza? Like Dr. Edgar's? I don't know. It's probably McCain. Delicioso. There's leftovers from my parents' fridge. Oh, nice. Better cool down a sec there. Muddy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I think that's it for the year, unless we get a bunch more snow. But it was a good ride. Still made her to the cabin. Just got poured on. Luckily, the raincoat kept me dry. But nah, got to go pick up my wife and my dog. Go say hi to my parents, and then back to Calgary. Seven degrees. Rained all day. We didn't exactly get a ton of riding in just because of the rain. We're getting wet. It's still fun though. Got out. Hung out at the cabin for a little bit. Lit a fire. Thanks for coming out, Trent. It was nice meeting you. Hopefully ride with you again next season. Maybe see you this summer. So you never know. We might get out for a couple more rides yet. The forecast is showing some snow. Look at the rain. Just a downpour today. So that was my second ride on a Polaris Boost and it was a lot of fun. Check out the video below to see my first ride impressions on a Boost. Also, head over to my channel to check out my videos, maybe do a few polls on the community tab. Hitting subscribe and leaving a comment will really help this channel grow, so please do so. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.